kinda almost quasi spoiler alert. Here's the deal, I'm not sure about how much talking about the driving techniques present in Initial D, a driving focused anime, can be considered spoilers. But we're not gonna give out any spoiler other than some driving techniques, and that's it. So feel free to keep watching because there are some moves the characters do there that can actually spoil the anime's watching experience although we will not talk about those. So sit back and relax because you're gonna learn how to drift like Takumi in real life in games in Forza Horizon 4, wherever it is that you wanna drift. Now here's the problem, you're approaching a corner too fast to complete it, what do you do? Well, if you thought about hitting brakes, you're correct, but that's not all. See, cars do slow down a lot when you're trying to brake, but there are still other ways to make it go slower. One of them is to engine brake. If you don't know what it is, just think of it as applying more brakes, but instead of using the pedal, the engine is what's doing all the work for you. This happens when you drop a gear, like putting from fourth to third, and the revs go up. Then, if you don't accelerate, the car will slow down by itself without you pressing the brakes. When Takumi is trying to slow down for the corner, notice that he hits the brakes but also does this heel and toe thing. By doing that, he's not just preparing the car to exit the corner with a slower speed and does a lower gear required, he is also helping the car brake faster with engine braking. That's why we see him drop gear so many times while slowing down for a corner throughout the anime. This sequence of heel and toes and gear reductions while braking is not only making him go faster overall, but also helps him drift. Here's how. By bringing the gearbox to more advantageous gears, he prepares it to be positioned higher in the rev range, thus giving him more power whenever he needs to gas it. When he heel and toes, he is stabilizing the car so he doesn't start drifting without his consent. And finally, he is also slowing down the car to the right speed for initiating the drifts. After he has done all of this, only then he goes to the drift. The technique he uses is not to unstabilize the car by shifting gears without red matching, as he does heel and toe. The way he does it is by turning the wheel to the inside while he is braking. This is what causes the car to unstabilize and start drifting. He then proceeds to explode the gas pedal and immediately counter steer so the car doesn't spin. He keeps it at an angle by controlling the steering wheel and the accelerator at the same time, and that's how he drifts. When you accelerate mid-drift, the rear tends to slide outwards a little more. In contrast, when you turn the wheel to either side, you're making the car straighten out a bit or get more angle by means of the front tires. Now, remember that I said that engine braking helps him slow down? This works because instead of producing more energy, an engine will consume energy if you release the gas pedal fully. That means that the car was being driven by explosions inside the engine and is now driving the engine to spin, which consumes energy, because air is being sucked in and pushed out without any energy from explosions. If you wanna practice engine braking, you simply have to accelerate the car and then release the gas pedal. As you do so, you'll notice that the revs start dropping even if you don't depress the brake pedal. For a more noticeable effect, try reducing the gear and with more revs, the engine is sucking out more energy every second from the rolling chassis, thus slowing down even faster. Always remember though, that if you're doing this in a real car, Never allow the car to go over the red line. For that, reduce gears gradually, one by one, checking every time if the revs don't go above the red line. If they do go, you run the risk of damaging your engine, since engines don't like going over their respective red lines. Now that you know how to engine brake, you may start noticing that whenever you drop a gear, the driving tires squeal a bit when you release the clutch. That is one thing that may put you at risk whenever cornering hard. This is why you can drift by dropping a gear mid-corner. The rear tires in drift cars have to change their rotations to match the newly imposed gear ratio from the lower gear. Thus, they're accelerated or braked very quickly, which makes them lose traction initiating the drift. This could be the way Takmai drifts, if he didn't rev match. You see, rev matching is done also so you can keep the composure of the car during hard cornering. 
That happens because instead of forcing a new rotation speed to the tires, when your revs match, the engine and drivetrain speeds match the wheel speed, and you can release the clutch without disturbing the tire's grip level. Finally, the last aspect we talked about is the brake drift. Every drift starts with an unbalance in the car. The way Takame drifts is by unbalancing the car via the brakes. Usually, cars have to brake in a straight line, otherwise they get unstable. When you're braking, the weight of the car is transferred to the front tires, which means they have a little more grip, and the rears have a little less. If you flick the wheel to the inside, the front can obey your command, as they have a little bit more grip. However, the rear won't be able to follow the front, as they have now less grip and the car starts sliding. That is a brake-initiated drift, as our hero Takumi does, following through with the tradition passed on from Bunta. Hey, click on the right, sit back and learn! Thanks for watching!